Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we have with us Komal Poddar. She has cracked an on-campus internship at IBM. So Komal, congratulations on your achievement. Thank you, yes. So tell us about yourself so that the audience knows about you as well. Hi everyone, I'm Komal Poddar, a final year computer engineering student at VIT Pune. And right now I'm doing my internship at IBM. I started my journey from my diploma and since then I have been into coding and building projects, mainly in full stack development. I have maintained a good academic record with a pointer above 8.5 and uh, me and Yash were in the same EDI group. Yeah. Apart from this, uh, I was part of a student club as well. Uh, I love to socializing with people and taking leads in a team and that's all about me. Great, great, great. So, now we the main topic. Pe. IBM के बारे में बात करेंगे. When did it visit our campus? कितने rounds हुए थे? Can you tell us about it in nutshell? <clears throat> okay. So IBM came to our campus in June 2025, starting from the OA in the mid of June and ending with results in July. So the overall process was very structured and it took around a month. Uh, there were total three rounds. First one was technical assessment, uh, OA. Second one was technical interview. And third one was PDM round, that is product development manager round. So personally, I felt that proce the process was very smooth and I got like enough time to prepare in between the rounds. Great, great, great. So as you told, pehla round online assessment, tha, right? Yes. So we'll talk about that. Karenge. Kitne questions the, what was the pattern of those questions? Uh, what were the questions that were asked? Means, kis concept, uh, kin concepts pe questions kiye gaye the? And was <laughs> it an online assessment related to technical questions? Or usme apt related questions bhi puche the? Yeah. So, uh, the OA had total 18 questions. Uh, three, were, uh, three were coding questions and 15 were MCQs on concepts like uh, C, C++, uh, OS and OOPS. The difficulty level of those questions were from uh, easy to medium. What uh, mostly mattered in the way was time management. And uh, there was nothing like surprising. Uh, all the questions were technical based, not aptitude related. So what you have to like uh, make sure that your fundamentals are very strong for the uh, for cracking the way. Great, great. So they didn't ask aptitude related questions. They were focused upon the fundamental subjects of computer engineering. Uh, yes, pe questions kiye gaye the. yes. Right. Abhi, now talking about your second round. Second round was technical interview, right? Yes. So what was flow? Kya tha? Kya puchi gai thi? And what was the difficulty of that round as well? Okay, so my technical interview lasted around uh, 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, it began with a short discussion about my area of interest and my tech stack. And then, uh, like followed by some questions related to what I I mentioned. Then my uh, interviewer asked me some conceptual questions related to operating system, oops, and some uh, basic backend concept. Then uh, we shifted to DSA. My interviewer asked me two to three DSA questions that were uh, logical and implementation based, not too complex. Uh, like he was uh, like trying to check my problem solving approach and clarity of thoughts. Like uh, they really look for how you approach a problem, how you solve a problem, not like what are your coding skills. Then, okay. so my main interview was uh, focused on core subjects that I mentioned and DSA. Uh, my interviewer didn't ask any questions related to my projects in the uh, technical interview round. Okay, so they focused upon the conventional things that generally are told to us to study about, right? Correct. Like core subjects ke mein, and apart from yeah. that DSA, nothing Correct. else. Yes. Okay, so no resume based questions were asked to you in that round, right? No, like, ha, yeah, they just only asked my uh, like tech stack, what I I mentioned in the starting, like what is my tech stack? Right, asked. right. Yeah. Got it, got it. Say yes, say yes. Now talking about the third round, Abhi second round bhi ho gaya. after that in third round you were asked, uh, it was PDM round, right? Correct. Product development managerial round. Yes. Okay. So us round mein kya tha flow? Was it a technical round or what was it? Okay. So PDM round at IBM is quite difficult from uh, like typical interviews. It is more of managerial come uh, technical discussion. 
so st- starting with my interview uh my interviewer had my resume and he started to ask me question uh, related from my resume so first he like he wanted to know if i really know what i had mentioned in my resume he started to ask about my projects my skills that i had mentioned and uh, then he's uh, like then we shifted to managerial questions like what is is your strength and weaknesses so the overall pdm round is focused on uh, your projects your resume what is your area of interest and if it aligns with your if it aligns with the requirement they will ask you some technical related questions to that con- concepts and then some hr questions so the vibe of the interview was very calm and friendly it was not like a interview it was more like a discussion so they mainly focus on how you think how you communicate and whether you are good fit in the team or not right so in this round they were trying to know about you rather than knowing about your knowledge right they were trying to have a genuine discussion with you so they know about you well and if you fit into the requirement that they are looking at then you are good to go yeah. right like overall they were checking like your knowledge as well and if you are yeah. good yeah yeah of course of course तो yes. अभी ऐसा कंसीडर कीजिए आई हैव क्लियर्ड एन ऑनलाइन असेसमेंट टुडे और कल मेरा इंटरव्यू है आई हैव हार्डली 24 फोर आवर्स इन माई हैंड तो उस पीरियड में मुझे क्या प्रिपेयर करना चाहिए वॉट शुड आई प्रायरिटाइज एंड वॉट आई शुड नॉट प्रायरिटाइज बिकॉज देर आर अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन कैन लुक एट तो किन चीजों को प्रायोरिटी देनी चाहिए इवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिवाइजिंग दो थिंग्स राइट मतलब अगर रिवाइज भी करना हो तो इन चीजों को पहले रिवाइज कीजिए इनको बाद में yes so if you have just one day left for your interview you should mainly focused on uh, core subjects revise oops revise operating system basics go through your lo- language basics uh, my preferred language was java uh, so whatever your language is go through that then uh, you should revise uh, dsa questions some dsa questions not all which are like mostly like commonly asked then uh, like uh, revise your projects deeply know your projects that you have mentioned in your resume because uh, that is mostly asked in the interview and that's more than enough great great sahi hai abhi now let's discuss about the road map that students should follow to crack ibm matlab aap abhi bataiye ki students ko kya karna chahiye and kahan se karna chahiye not only what they should do but from where they should do that is resource as well so yeah Okay so what i have been telling like since this discussion that you should focus on your core subjects that are very important mm-hmm. not only for ibm but for every interview uh, core subject questions are uh, asked so like uh, strong your core subject fundamentals you can uh, use resources from youtube there are, i guess there are many youtube uh, videos uh, are present for core subjects Got then it. you should uh, cover up topics given in our curriculum i guess that is more than enough for core subjects then uh, you can follow strivers sheet for dsa i myself was uh, myself was uh, following strivers sd sheet for dsa you can solve uh, one dsa questions per day you can use uh, platforms like lead code hacker rank and code forces and whenever you are solving dsa questions please try to solve it by yourself do not just copy fa- copy paste okay great सही है तो अभी द लास्ट थिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू इज कि यू हैव सीन प्लेसमेंट्स फ्रॉम अ वेरी क्लोजर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू राइट नाउ व्हाट वुड बी योर एडवाइस टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स दैट आर वाचिंग आवर वीडियो आपने अपने जर्नी से क्या सीखा लाइक दैट वन की एडवाइस और सेट ऑफ की एडवाइस दैट यू वुड लाइक टू गिव सो दैट कैन एक्चुअली हेल्प हेल्प आर ऑडियंस ओके बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग विद योर कोर फंडामेंटल्स नो योर रेज्यूमे वेरी वेल and be honest about your still skills do not just add anything you know add only those that is known to you because ibm doesn't look for perfection they look for clarity consistency and how you think it is not just about ibm every company look for that mm. and uh, even my communication skills are not that good but in my interview i presented my thoughts very clearly and i think because of that i was able to, able to crack my interview and apart from academics you should take parts in college clubs and extra curriculars as well even i was part of a club so you should be able to manage all the things not just academics and that's what i want to tell everyone 
great so according to you clarity is way more important than being a good diplomat right Correct. sometimes clarity can cost a lot of things that mm-hmm. a good diplomat can not have actually right yes sahi hai so komal it was great interacting with you and thank you for giving your valuable time to us i hope a lot of people would learn a lot of things from this video thank you for everything thank you thank you